Hi, Ron with Lakeshore. Have you ever blown up a balloon and just let it go? We're gonna take that same balloon power and make a balloon rocket. Now a note for grown-ups: Balloon play is only for kids over eight years old. Now let's make that rocket. I'll walk you through the steps of how to make a balloon rocket so you can guide your child through the whole process. Remember to follow their lead and to encourage persistence along the way. I'll show you some general fixes to make sure that it works, and I'll also offer some additional challenges. Now here are a few things you need before you get started. You'll need two chairs that are 10 feet apart or any two items that are the same height. You'll also need some tape, scissors, string, a straw, and a balloon. Cut enough string so you can tie it to both chairs. For now, I have it tied to the chair that's farther away and untied on the other end. Next, take some tape and put it across the straw. This will be used to attach the balloon to the straw. And then, take the untied end of the string and lace it through the straw. Then, tie that end of the string to the chair. Now let's blow up the balloon. And keep the air in by holding the end of the balloon. Now take your balloon with the end that you're holding pointing toward the closest chair and then use the tape on the straw to attach the balloon. And now it's ready to go. So what's gonna happen? Is it gonna go along the string? Have your child predict where along the string it might end up. And then, let's see what happens. Let's look at why the balloon rocket moves the way it moves. It can be described in Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So when the air is let out of the balloon in one direction, it moves the balloon in the opposite direction. Now, depending on what happens, you can keep flying your balloon rocket over and over again. Or you might need to make repairs, or you can try some new challenges. If your child needs to fix their balloon rocket, consider these gentle repairs. If it's flying off the straw, they might need to add some more tape. Or maybe it's going really slow and not reaching the end. It might be because there's too much friction or resistance between the string and the straw. One fix might be to get a straw that has a bigger opening. That way there's less resistance and friction as it goes along the string. To offer your child some additional challenges, you can ask them, how could you make your balloon rocket go faster? Here are some suggestions. They can consider changing the angle of their string thread. They can take one end and tie it lower than the other end. And that way, they have two different tracks to go on. From one direction, the balloon rocket is racing up, and from the other direction, the balloon rocket is racing down. How does that affect the speed of the balloon rocket? They can also add some more air and see if that will make it faster. Or maybe they can try to figure out a way to add a second balloon to the balloon rocket. Does that make it faster? You can also help your child figure out ultimately how far will their balloon rocket go. Have them make a prediction, measure out a new length of string, and give it a try. And then keep going until they get as far as a balloon rocket will go. You can have your child set up several string tracks and race multiple balloon rockets. They can try balloons of different shapes and sizes. We'd love to see all your balloon rockets and everything you did with them. So send a photo or video on social media with the hashtag Learn with Lakeshore. I hope you enjoyed this learning at home video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our learning at home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.